how to make my Rocky Road Christmas pudding. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I am making probably one of my more iconic Christmas bakes that I have ever put on my blog, which is the Rocky Road Christmas pudding. Now, I'm gonna caveat this straight from the beginning that I don't really like Christmas pudding. I'm gonna say it, sorry. I have a cheats one in my second book, Celebrate, which is, it's nice, but it's not my favorite thing on the planet because I just don't really like Christmas pudding. I also don't really like Christmas cake. It's just, if I had to rank my favorites, wouldn't be anywhere near the top. Doesn't mean they're not delicious recipes, but either way, this treat is a fun alternative, which I think is just a million times better and is perfect for those people who, like me, prefer chocolate. I'm a chocolate girl through and through, so I'm gonna make something as deliciously Rocky Road pudding as possible, where all this is, is Rocky Road in a Christmas pudding shape. So it's a bit of a cheesy one, but it's fun, it's delicious, and I know you're all gonna adore this recipe as much as I do. So make sure to check out the full recipe in the description box below with a blog post link. And of course, let's get baking. So as with any Rocky Road or Tiffin, you can change what you put in it, but I like raisins. So I have some raisins here, but you could swap to currants or sultanas or nuts if you prefer. I have some glacé cherries. These are already cut in half and they are the stickiest thing on the planet, but they're really good in a Rocky Road. Of course, I also have some mini marshmallows. You can use the larger ones if you want, but I prefer mini for the distribution. For my drier ingredients, I have some digestive biscuits, which I'm just gonna break up. And then to make it a little bit more festive, I have some amaretti biscuits, the crunchy kind, which are also gonna go into my big bowl. And these are all gonna mix together to be the insides of your Rocky Road. So here I have some block butter, which I'm going to mix with my golden syrup. These two are the base of my Rocky Road and I tend to melt these down in a pan and then add in my chocolate. So for my chocolate, I have some milk chocolate and some also some dark chocolate. I like the mixture of both because it creates the perfect cocoa content, sweetness level and just general deliciousness, but these all create the chocolate mix of your Rocky Road. So to make this Rocky Road Christmas pudding, I have a medium sized glass bowl here and it's really important to line it with cling film and press down as firmly as possible, covering the insides as you're gonna push your Rocky Road mixture into this to shape your pudding. So I'm gonna start by prepping the insides first and just break my biscuits into my bowl. I'm gonna add my mini marshmallows, the amaretti biscuits, the raisins, and then the glacé cherries. And then I'm gonna mix these just so everything is evenly distributed in the bowl before we add the chocolate mix. So I'm gonna start the mixture by adding my butter to a pan, and then I'm gonna add my golden syrup as well. And then these need to melt together until just starting to bubble and when the butter has fully melted. So now that's melted, I'm gonna add in my dark chocolate and my milk chocolate as well. And then we're gonna stir these together until melted and pour straight into our bowl. And then I'm just gonna pour it in to my large bowl and mix everything together. I'm gonna start by scooping in a small amount into the bottom. And then I'm gonna make sure to press that down firmly just to cover the base of the bowl as much as possible and pack it into the sides. And then I'm gonna load in more of the Rocky Road. Just make sure I'm packing it down into the sides as well. And then finally, add on the last bits of the Rocky Road mix and smooth over. You want the top of this to be as flat as possible as this will end up being the bottom of your Rocky Road Christmas pudding. So now it is in the bowl, I'm gonna set this for a few hours until solid, then we can decorate it to make it look like our Christmas pudding. So now that my Rocky Road has set, 
It's just one giant chocolatey lump of goodness. So we are now going to decorate. I obviously have my board here because it's easier to turn it onto the serving board you're gonna use. I have some melted white chocolate. I have some leftover green buttercream, but there will be a recipe for this in the description box if you need to make it yourself. It's just a small amount of green colored buttercream. And then I have a few red M&Ms to act as some holly because we're basically gonna do the white part as white chocolate instead of icing. And then we're gonna pipe a holly-like decoration on top to make our Rocky Road Christmas pudding. So with my buttercream, I have a medium sized leaf piping tip because this is gonna create the holly shape that I'm after. And then I just sort of guide a few holly leaves like so. And then I'm gonna add a few red M&Ms on top for the holly berries. So that is how you make my Rocky Road Christmas pudding. Look at it, it's amazing. So like I say, this is the best chocolatey alternative to a Christmas pudding if you don't really like Christmas pudding like me, or you actually just wanna try something a little bit different. And like, this is long lasting because it's just chocolate. You can really like jazz it up with what you prefer. Like if you don't like dried fruit, you could add nuts, you could add more marshmallows, you could add chopped up chocolate bars. There's no real rules when it comes to Rocky Road other than the base chocolate mix itself. I would obviously recommend following the recipe and stick to the weight of the other ingredients involved, but have fun with it because like I say, it's the perfect little Christmas pudding. The full recipe is in the description box below with a link to the blog post. I'll link anything else I've used, such as the piping tip, the bowls, all of that kind of thing. Make sure to come back next time for something else that's utterly festive and, you know, joyful as always. And I hope you love the recipe as much as I do. Enjoy. Enjoy.